This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform dedicated to helping you build your website and run your business. Good morning from Binondo. Also known as Chinatown. Yeah, Chinatown, Manila. Here in Manila. Yeah. yeah. We are going to kick off a food tour, kind of a walking food tour for the most part. Uh, hitting some of the coolest eateries here in Chinatown. We're starting a course with dumplings at Dong Bay uh, Dumpling House. Pork dumplings. You guys thinking about Ooh. some of that? Yes. Pork yes. dumplings. Now I think they have some. <laughs> I do believe they have the veg. So <laughs> I think they have like a, I think they have a green onion dumpling. Um, dumpling. So dumpling. We'll, we'll go check that out. Yeah. Uh, the idea here is that we are going to get kind of one plate and pretty much share because we're going to hit as many different eateries as we can. And Dong Bay, you gotta kind of watch these tight streets here. Dong Bay is just right here. You walk up, you order right at the counter, and uh, eat it on the streets. So looking pretty good. All right, guys, what do you think? Here we go. This is what we're after: yeah. the couche uh, with pork. Couche with pork. It looks like 14 pieces for 200. Plain pork, boiled. They also have fried. They have a stuffed pancake. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of options here. Let's uh, get with the lady. Kelly, can I pass force off to you? Yeah. Come here, buddy, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right. Aww. So guys, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely thinking boiled, boiled dumplings. Okay, sound good? All right. They have plain pork. No, let's get the, the couche with pork. All right, how are you? Uh, can I please order a uh, couche with pork boiled? One order. One order. And do you have just couche? No. No, it's just vegetarian. no vegetarian. Okay, so we'll do the um, couche with pork boiled, and we'll eat. We we'll eat right here. And they're making the dumplings. Oh yeah, so you got the lady cutting the dumplings. All right here. Okay, number nine. All right. Pardon? Okay. All righty. Thank you. Oh six, six. Okay. So Kelly. Uh, well, good news for us, bad news for you. No veg, she said. No vegetarian. Okay. Um, but we did get the couche with pork. Uh, number six, we're going to eat it. Just essentially, there's no tables. It's all just sort of the sidewalk eating in front of the window. So I can see the lady. She's like chopping all the dumplings back there. I assume they boil them in the back. And uh, should be uh, pretty good. The green onions with, dump, with, with pork. So just within a minute, our order is up. Hello, thank you. Okay, this is uh, this is vinegar. Yes. Okay. Soy sauce, vinegar, and garlic. Soy sauce, vinegar, garlic blend. Wow, those look really nice. I think I'm gonna pre pre add. Okay, I gotta be careful. Okay, just oh, don't want to add too much. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got the garlic, soy sauce, vinegar blend. Here's a little chili. I'll add the chili on this side. Chili oil. We'll just add it here. That way uh, people can use it as they wish. Okay, so we have chopsticks. Let's grab a couple of toothpicks. See, will you take two of those or one of them? Granite. All right. And the extras I'll just put uh, right here. Okay, so guys, let's just have a seat on the, uh, on the side here. We can come back for more vinegar as we need. Forrest, you happy with your banana? All right. So, Granite, you go ahead and pop a squat there. We have uh, sufficiently waited a couple of minutes for the heat to escape the box, but you can see um, cooled down. It's got that dumpling. That dumpling uh, wrap with the pork on the inside. Ooh. Oh. It's still hot and the green onions. It's a little hot, but it's really good. I can really taste the green onions. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's nice. Yeah, I can really taste the green onions. It's, it's good. It tastes fresh. Like, I mean, she was just back there making them, cutting the dumplings. So these are good. The vinegar that it's soaking in, that's awesome. This one, I'm going to go for some of the chili. The chili oil. There we go. So you had two boxes, vinegger and chili? Your, your yeah, so the vinegar was soy sauce, vinegar, garlic okay. in one bottle, and then the uh, chili sauce kind of on the side. What Is do you guys think? Oil? How's the chili sauce? Excellent. It's not spicy. Actually, I could probably pour some over here if you guys think you all want it. Oh, I can see the inside of Cedar's dumpling there. Yeah. The pork and the onion. 
Yeah. It's, it's so good? Some of the sauce yeah. Right Do you want more of the vinegar? More vinegar? Okay, I'm gonna take this one more piece here. You can see it's just kind of, uh, the angle you're holding it green is good because it soups all the vinegar in the corner. Yeah. It's kind of just dripping with flavor. No, not dirty. Mm. It's clean. You can eat it, it's fine. That's great. What do you guys like about them? They're sweet. Uh, they're sweet. Um, they, they aren't that hot. <laughs> And the texture is just amazing. Yeah, it's the chewiness of the pork and the, the wrapper for the dumpling is awesome. Yeah, good description and there. And they're juicy. And they're juicy. Wow, Forrest, do you want to try a dumpling? I'm trying to, it's like a noodle. It's a big noodle, with yummy it's on the inside. Meat. What's sweet, is, Randy said it was sweet, is that like the meat is sweet or is it the uh, vinegar? The, the meat. The meat is <coughs> Wow, that's excellent. Nice. Can you eat 14 of them? Uh, I feel like I could eat 14 alone. What about you guys? <laughs> we were kind of worried when we saw there was 14 per order. We're like, oh man, we don't want to get too full. Now I'm glad it was 14 in the order. Completely destroyed those in about two minutes flat. That was excellent. What'd you guys think? It was delicious. Yeah, Dongbei. That man, this is add this to your, your food tour list. You can also get these fried, but I'm glad we went boiled. If it's one to one hundred, I would give it a one hundred. Nice. <laughs> Top Tops scores. Boom. What a way to start a food tour. But All right. I would like the like hot sauce, like the chili oil to be a little bit more spicy. This is true. Yes, that like could be it. a critique. The chili oil wasn't yeah. blazing, but you know pretty good place. I love that yeah. vinegar. <laughs> All right, everyone heading down the road. Our next stop as we work down these narrow streets here in Chinatown, Cafe Mezzanine. Now there's a couple of things here. They have, I believe, a vegetarian fried rice. Jiang Pong rice, I think is veg rice, but there's also um, soup number five. Now granted, soup number five. Yep. This, I believe, has you know, some private male, like uh, male parts in it, testicles, penis. Are you uh, interested in giving it a try? Yeah. Why not, man, why not? So there is a huge queue. Um, here's the restaurant, pretty busy and a pretty big queue. Let's see about uh, where we actually go to get into the queue for this place. I mean, Chinatown, all the lanterns, all the dragons. Okay, I'm guessing the queue's back here. Wow, all right, well, let's do a time check. 12.20, probably our own fault for coming at high noon. 12.20, let's see how long it takes us to get in. Hey everybody, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're looking to build a website, Squarespace is one of the easiest platforms to use and you don't have to be tech savvy at all. After spending some time on Squarespace, let me tell you about a few awesome features. First, Squarespace has tons of preset web design layouts where all you have to do is drop and drag different features to build an awesome website that helps you stand out from the crowd, or you can build a custom website to meet your unique needs. Second, as a visual learner myself, I really enjoy Squarespace's many video tutorials. As Kelly and I continue to build our brand, Squarespace, for example, offers videos about how to build an email list and add a newsletter sign up to your website, which would be a great way to help us directly communicate with you. Lastly, Squarespace makes it easy for visitors to your websites to add comments and likes to your blog post. This easy interaction helps you engage more with your audience. So make sure to head to Squarespace for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to this website right here for 10 off your first website or domain. Now let's get back to the Philippines. So we got seating. It did not take long at all because we were actually needing to come upstairs to Cafe Mezzanine. So that line was for the restaurant downstairs. The menus are very similar. But okay, I think we're ready to order. Uh, do you have um, soup number five? Soup number five is not available. Oh no! Granted, no soup number five. So no uh, penis testicle soup for us. I think I'm disappointed, but maybe I'm not. Okay, so no problem. Uh, okay, well, let me just give it a second on the menu. Food has been served the full menu, so the seafood lomi, guys, how is it? It's like um, sweet, and the noodles are like thick and chewy. Do you like those noodles? They look really long. Yeah, and it tastes like a, the sauce is like a sweet soy sauce. Okay, so you're getting sweet, chewy. How's the seafood itself? Um, it's really good. You can definitely get the seafood flavor. Right on, Cedar, what do you think? The sauce tastes like a soy sauce in a way. The fish has like this tex texture that's spicy. Oh, nice, you're getting some spicy out of that. Get, yeah. Cool, and uh... And if you get them all together, it just tastes like 
Beautiful. Nice. One big bite of noodle fish broth. Awesome. All right. I'm going to go for it myself. Oh, there's shrimp in there. Nice. All right. You can see big chunks of fish, maybe egg as well. But that's a rich looking broth. Mm. Wow, that's good. That seafood flavor is fresh. It's delicious. I can taste shrimp in there. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, I think I even see fish balls as well. Mm -hmm. So those little balls, guys, those are the fish balls. If you have any of those in your cup. Now, Kel, you got, you've turned up. Plain congee into something quite fancy over there. I really, I don't know if I changed the way it's supposed to be, but I've added white pepper, soy what? sauce, this super oh, hot. Oh, hot sauce. I don't know if it's hot and I should have tried it. It, it says it. hot sauce. I bet it's, it's hot. hot. I put it in there. You want to see that? It does have a pepper. Yeah, Forrest had a big glass of uh, warm milk, so that's pretty good. I'll and then I peanuts and the, and the green onions from the rice. Obviously. Okay, yeah, this rice here, which I believe is veg, but now I, I thought it was veg, but upon further inspection, there might be little beet chunks in there. Yeah. So I'm going to try it. It looks really hot. So we'll find out. Mm. It's good. I haven't tried the hot sauce. <laughs> All right, go for it. The, the hot, hot sauce. sauce. The kanji looks thick. It looks nice. Yeah, it's, it's good kanji. Ooh. The hot sauce has a little kick. It's got a vinegar taste to it as well. Nice. But a little kick in the front of the mouth, actually. Well, it's quite a spread of food. Now, Forrest had a big glass of warm milk. How you doing, Forrest? You want some of the rice? Oh, you want to sauce up mom's sauce? Yeah. Brandon, how's that fish ball? It's really good. Yeah, the fish balls are nice. And Cedar, you got a big chunk of fish there. Is that so yummy? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, this again is the spread. I mean, for me, the seafood balmy is fantastic. Kelly turned a plain kanji into something quite delicious. And then the rice, we gotta go for the rice. Now this one, I thought was like a vegetarian fried rice, but I, I think there are chunks of pork in there. Yeah, there definitely are chunks of meat in there. Whoa. It seems popular, there are a lot of people have been ordering that. Yeah. This is on almost everybody's table. It's a real, smoky flavor. Um, you know, there's definitely a soy sauce on it. It looks like good rice. It's really good rice, like a brown rice, I think. It's kind of that grainy flavor I'm getting. Mm. Smoky, grainy, peanuts, get a nice crunch texture. All right, so we'll spend a little time finishing this up and we'll head on down the road. After kind of nice full tummies from dumplings and seafood lomi, it's time for something sweet. Are you guys ready for something sweet? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a bakery just down the street. Hey, by the way, Forrest, how are those fish balls? Good. Good, yeah, that kid, man, he uh, he loves the seafood lomi, who knew? So fish balls and noodles are right up this guy's alley. But either way, right just, I mean, we're already here. I mean, a one minute walk down the road from the restaurant, and here we are at the Holland bakery and uh, here we are we'll go right in and get this uh, figured out all right so as we're reviewing kind of the different flavors of the hopias I don't see mango so maybe I misunderstood because I see mango this mung bean paste uh, mango so maybe there is not an actually a fruit one uh, let's see although I am seeing pineapple here yeah. so there are some purple sweets oh purple yam uh, wax gourd wax gourd black mango pastry Missing this one. It's something light though. Yeah. No sugar added. Yeah, Skip light. that one. Oh yeah, here's this one has pork glass. Okay, here's a custard one. Salted egg. <coughs> custard. Keep refrigerated. Purple yam custard. Here's your jackfruit. Jackfruit would be kind of good. Well, listen, let's. Uh, it's. Uh, it seems to me one, two, three, four, five, about five per package. At least as my thumb feels it. Should we just get one, or do you want to get one for a little later? Or we can get a couple. And we can do a little taste test right outside. Uh, maybe two? Two? Okay, sounds good. So we got the original, this do, mung bean paste. I would do the purple yam. Purple yam? It's called Hopia Ube. Ube. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. Hello, how are you? Hi, hi, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, okay, total price 172 pesos. And uh, we're just going to eat them right outside because there's no uh, like cafe chairs or tables in here. It's pretty much a. Uh, 
grab and go type system. All right, guys, let's find a little space. How about right here? <laughs> so we've got, uh, what is it, five cakes in the box? Yes. And we'll try this one. You guys want to just share it? Okay, all right. Mmm. It's custardy. It's soft. Mung bean paste, they could. How is that, Cedar? <laughs> Chewy. Yeah. It's kind of like a, um, a, a, what's that? What's a jelly thing that you like to eat? Oh, the mochi? It's like a mochi, but it's more flour. Ooh. Oh, it's it's like a potato kind of. Yeah, yeah, mung bean paste. It's floury, it's flaky, it's kind of delicious. Let me see if Forrest will go for it. Mm -hmm. It's a little dry. Yeah, it's a little dry. Forrest, you want a bite of that? A little cake? Bananas inside. It's like bananas? Oh, you like it? A thumbs up? You want more of it? No. No, okay. So there you go. That one's a winner. That's the original. This is kind of the one everybody seeks out. Do you want the rest of this one, Granite? Or Cedar, you want to finish it? And we have another flavor as well. So we got the two flavors. That was mung bean and this one is a sweet potato. Okay. It's called a Hopia, I think ube, I'm not sure I'm probably butchering that, but purple yam paste. Purple yam paste, very mm, nice. Sounds good, right? Oh, I, I can see the purple already. Oh, oh yeah, saying... right in here. Maybe we can break that into a few pieces. Oh, here. All right, let's see how we can do this. Oh boy, I just butchered it, I think. Well, it's definitely purple. This one's softer. Here. Okay, here is purple. Here. Purple yam paste. Oh, that one's really good. It's softer. It it's feels softer, softer. And it's definitely sweeter. So there must be certainly some sugar in that paste. Yeah, that's good. Sweet yam. Yeah. You like a cedar? Mm. These are good. This would taste good with a coffee. Mm, I need a coffee. Yes. Nice black coffee. Oh, I hear you. Perfect. Forrest, you want to try this one? It's purple. It's ube. Ube. Oh, delicious. I that one? No, no, that was not for him. Which ones did you guys like better? The purple, the yam, or the original? The mung bean. Do you like the mung bean, the yellow? I like the mung bean. Which now? You like the original one better? Oh, I like the purple yam. Purple yam? Boy, I like both. Uh, if I had to really pick, though, I'm going to go mung bean, the yellow, the original. I mean, although, well, that's a tough choice. So again, you get these right here. I mean, this is a bakery. Right down the street is a vegetable fruit market. And you eat them on the street. I mean, I, I suppose like normal people would take them home. But uh, normal people would take them home. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll go with on the street. Our next stop is right down a back alleyway, total market alleyway, fruits, vegetables, meats. But we're here at this little unassuming window stall, the New Fo Hing Lupa House. Lupia. This is it, oh, Lupia. Yeah. Well, that was fast. Wow, thank so, you. So, we try. 95. 95. So, again, under 100 pesos. That was so fast. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and pay this bill. This Kelly is all veg. It's like carrot, cabbage, mm. herbs all chopped up. I know you guys can't smell this, but it smells fantastic. I, just from everyone around us eating it, it smells like the inside of like a egg roll, oh, like, it's okay. a nice cabbage carrot smell. When we came here, I said it smells spicy. Ooh. Yeah, spicy. So it now, looks like a burrito. Yes. That looks like spicy sauce. The trick on this, if you want to add the soy, uh, I learned this actually on YouTube, is you bite the little tip off and then you can squeeze down it. Okay, here we go. All right, so, oh, so it's oh, gooey. Yeah. I thought, I thought it, was, it was a soy sauce. I thought it was soy sauce, but it's a lot thicker. Not quite ketchup manis, but but maybe yeah. it's... Yeah, I'm going to taste it. Yeah. Is it good? It's similar like a vegetable it's burrito. Messy. It looks messy. I can't tell what it's made out of. Maybe some... I mean, all types of veg. Maybe some la lettuce and some curry. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Vegetables, sugary, ketchup, cabbage. Maybe egg? I'm not sure. That looks like... I'm not sure what this one is. Cabbage, maybe. Maybe cabbage. Yeah, I think it's yeah. cabbage. Mm, you guys gotta try this. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Mm. That tastes like wow. so good. Yeah, what do you like about it? Mm. It has these nuts in it. Ooh. 
I bet peanuts you think. I don't know if they're sugary though. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, let me give this a try. So again, you can see a huge variety of ingredients. Forest. That has a peanut buttery taste to it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like I was thinking it was nuts, but sometimes nuts have peanut, mm -hmm. peanut butter. Yeah, like a Well, it's sugar. Crunch. There's definitely sugar in this. Like it's a sugar peanut base. Yep. This is all veg. This is not it's meat. It's delicious. Yeah, it, what you're seeing in that dark, that's the peanut sugar blend. Uh, cabbage, carrot, all types of good stuff. Granite, you want to try this one? That one tastes like peanut butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes like full of flavor and really sweet. Okay, yeah, sweet, delicious, yummy. You think Forrest will go for a bite? I can ask him. Maybe, if you ask him. Forrest. Crunchy. Do you want a little bite of the burrito? Not spicy, it's sweet. It's yummy. I don't think but I okay well that one little granule of flavor he uh you know not gonna not gonna go for it anymore but <laughs> this is good yeah 95 pesos yeah so we'll spend a minute kind of knocking this out but you can see there's so many good options here in chinatown i mean wow yeah all right i can't wait to see what's next so as we work our way down the drag we step off about five steps here is ying ying you guys ready for ying, some ying ying? Yeah, I think so. Me I'm too. I'm not sure what that is. Beef that kanji oh. is the dish we're after. So Kelly I might not be showed so the, well, I bet we can find one additional. But I did a kanji already Well, you, and you showed a veg kanji. Yeah. Uh, it looks pretty Plain. good. Yep. This one though, it's all about the beef kanji. So uh, there's multiple levels to this restaurant. So although the downstairs is busy, yeah. we will go up and find a table. Sound okay. good? All right. Good. Which table? Upstairs? Yeah. Upstairs. Oh, better? Okay, all right. So again, multiple layers. Oh, wow. Look at all those buns. Yum. Okay, so lots of good stuff. Boy, you know, you come to a place like this with one dish in mind, like the beef congee. But then you start looking around and you're like, oh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So it's hard not to uh, overdo it in a restaurant like this to uh, just completely like uh, order so many different items. But for sure, beef congee. All right, we'll work our way up. Oh yeah, there's lots of levels. So Cedar, look to your right. See if there's a table in there. So if you're ever curious, like what do we do after we order, but before the food arrives, a lot of thumb wrestling. Thumb wrestling and cars. That's, that's a little behind the scenes info for you. The beef congee's here. Nice, these are shrimp, I believe. Okay. Three waters. Yes. Thank you, sir. Now, taking a look at this kanji, raw egg yolk on top. That is awesome. I wasn't expecting that. That's like that beef raw egg soup that we Awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I figure what we'll do is uh, we can um, we can serve into these little bowls from the big bowl. All right. That looks awesome. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of, uh, of the raw egg yolk for everybody. And, and the hot kanji itself will kind of cook it. All right, cedar, I'm gonna show you next, okay? And it's kind of minced beef is what it is. Okay, there you go. And now on this bowl will be mine. You can see that yellow, bright, raw egg yolk in there. Crispy crackers. So I'm gonna draw mine up a little bit, certainly with the vinegar. Thank you, Forrest. The vinegar, and I'll take some of the soy. All right, some of the soy sauce coming on top. Woo! Okay, and then of course, you've got the uh, chili. That bright, dark chili sauce. I'm definitely gonna give it a stir so that raw egg yolk is um, kind of within the hot kanji, but it looks multicolored. Oh man, that's good. Okay, lots of different textures and flavors. The kanji is chewy, the beef is uh, very flavorful. I can taste the vinegar, I can taste the chili sauce. It's all very, very good. They also brought out the, uh, the dim sum, the shrimp. I have an idea here on this one. So I'm gonna kind of get it out of the bowl, put it onto the spoon, and then I'm going to kind of spice up the, uh, spice it up off the spoon. That's a good idea. I, said, I, think, I think it'll work. 
some vinegar. And then I'll get a little soy sauce action on this one. How's the hot sauce, by the way? The hot chili's really good. Okay, so the taiko is here. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Great, that's definitely the way to do it. That's the soy. Here is some vinegar. It's kind of a big bite. You could probably do two bites, but if you got a big mouth like me, you can kind of. I like it. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. You getting the shrimp and that definitely. vinegar. You can really taste the uh, vinegar and the soy off of something like that. Uh, in the kanji, it just kind of blends together, but you can really. I bit it and now I'm gonna put some soy sauce oh, on the side. Yeah, perfect. yeah, perfect. Exactly right. Quite delicious. Yeah, it's a really good uh, Kelly. I wish uh, you're you're getting on the full side though from the last stop. Yes. Okay, yes. so you're not you're not feeling neglected. Nope. I mean a little. <laughs> not feeling great. <laughs> okay, good. All right, Forrest is distracted, watching some of our YouTube videos. Good for you, young man. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, we will spend the time enjoying what might be one of my favorite meals of the day. This kanji granite. How you doing? Good. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of that spicy sauce. Okay, yeah, I love it, man. Go for it. That chili sauce is where it's at. It's not so spicy. I mean, it, it's got a heat, but it's very different than, say, like the India, Pakistan, Nepal, Nepalese spices. Wow. All right, well, quite delicious. Again, you've got a very yolky batch there. Quite, quite, yeah. quite creamy. Yeah. That hot sauce makes it a hundred times. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do, the, I do the exact same thing. All right, so we'll spend the next little bit of time sort of polishing off. You notice the, uh, the Heiko uh, dim sum already gone. I uh, will finish off that kanji and we'll be on our way. So our next destination, fried chicken. But just take a look at the hustle and bustle of the Chinatown. I mean, wow, all these huge buses. These are basically like super discount local taxis. You flag these guys down, these big trucks, and you can hop right in. So we are, yeah, we're looking for a famous fried chicken place that's been here since the 1920s. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can find it. I believe we're getting pretty close. But you got the big church across the way there. All right, Granite, you got room for some fried chicken? Yeah. I think so. Fried chicken, there's always room for fried chicken. Yeah. Cantonese style, but wow. Oh, I see it, okay. Ramon Lee, I believe it's the name, Ramon Lee. Hello. Everyone's so friendly, so our chicken place, this is 1929. All right, let's just see about getting in there, see how it's done, but yeah, there it is, right there. Ramon Lee fried chicken. See there, you got room for a little fried chicken? Hope so. Hope so too. It should be since 1929. This could be awesome. Whoa. All right. It would be awesome to go through this traffic. Yeah, man. This is like a much more dense part of Chinatown. I think we can. You got to bust out that Indian uh, magic hand. Just sort of throw your hand out and start walking. I'm a little nervous though. All right. I'm going to put force this way. Oh, man. I bet we can do it. I think I got a plan. Usually I look for a local crossing, but I don't see any locals. That might be a sign that there's no locals crossing right maybe here. It's a sign we do yeah, it. maybe it's the sign we should do. Okay, here we go. We got a little window. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. All right, we did it. Woo! Okay. All right, we got it. Okay. It's the fried chicken. So we're gonna go and get a seat. It, they were coming at the right time. It's just, just three o'clock now. So it were, we beat the big rush. The fine meal has been served. What do you guys think? It looks really good, colorful. It's got, so the, the fried chicken, this is what they're famous for. You've got the noodles, the rice, and then a little kind of bonus, oh, that's really hot. <laughs> like a little bonus uh, fried egg roll, I suppose. It also came with soup. Should we start with the soups oh, while sure. this cools down? Cause this is, uh, it's actually pretty hot. So, oh yes, and the little banana, <laughs> how fun. So the light is going crazy in here. I just I got the wrong frequency. 
But this should be, actually, we're gonna do some seat switching so I can shoot from this angle. For the noodle. Not the soup, okay, okay. To contradict the salty. I see, I see. Sweet. No, citrus. It's acid. Or sour. Sour, sour. Sour. So this gentleman uh, was kind of coaching us on what to do. So this calamansi, that's the name, the calamansi is basically meant for the noodles because the noodles are salty, this is sour. Guys, how's that eggy broth? You haven't tried it yet. All right, well, let's dig in. First reactions, always the, the best. That tastes like um, broth. Like, like, a, like a chicken broth? Yeah, a chicken noodle broth. Oh, a chicken noodle, yum. Mm. Is that good? It tastes like that broth that Grana was talking about. Okay. Like I think it has like, like these white stuff. Yeah, that might be it. Kind of tastes like noodles in a okay. way if you put it in like, if you have, if you have, the, if you have this in it. Is there anything on the bottom if you stir up from the bottom? Oh, I see some carrots. Okay, carrots. There's meat chunks in there. Yeah, see, right here. Nice. And granted, you're liking it? Mm. Awesome. All right, so the, the, the soup. Now, this is all one set dish. It comes with the soup, the chicken, the wonton, the rice, and the noodles, and the bananas. So that's kind of fun. Forest. Eating that rice? Eating the rice. The eggy rice. Now the star of the show is the fried chicken. You guys want to jump in on some of this fried chicken? Yes. All right. Yes, it does. So we're going to just use our fingers. Is that okay? So I'm just going to grab a little piece. Again, it's what they're famous for. Eat the whole thing. Yeah, just grab. It seems like it's cooled down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is very good. It has a uh, its own unique flavor it doesn't taste anything like a um like a kfc or whatever it's like a cantonese style fried chicken yeah isn't that nice it's a sweet flavor it's very good we're gonna kind of maybe rip this into two pieces here you can see it's a lot of meat and this is again all for 250 pesos wow yeah greasy delicious mmm i got some of that skin Absolutely outstanding. They said they set the calamansi on the noodles, so we give that a squeeze. Hey, look, I found something, look. Yeah, chunks of maybe chicken. That's the hell of me, it's a fried chicken restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these noodles are dynamite. Chicken. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> That's a great flavor. Yeah. And granite's back to the soup. See they're hitting those noodles hard. Yeah, really quite outstanding. The chicken just peels right off the bone. Oh, wow. That's that's just so good. So we'll spend some time uh, working through this. Maybe I can try the spring roll now. Oh, it's still piping hot. Mm. It's stuffed with like a, maybe more chicken. Definitely a, a meat-based uh, spring roll. That's very good. Cedar, you like that chicken? Yeah. That's good. It's a nice, um, a nice portion. It's not overly uh, filling, where you're just gonna walk away so full. And this is for one person. I bet if one person ate this whole thing, maybe so. But we're splitting it three ways. We're gonna spend the next little bit of time knocking out this soup. The one platter for us is gonna knock out those bananas. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go, man. An excellent stop. I can see why it's been here since 1929. Outstanding. So we are going specifically right up ahead here to the Shanghai Fried Show Pal. That's that stuffed bun. And we're gonna kind of wrap up the video there. And there's still, oh wow. So it's just after four o'clock and there's still a queue. This is by far one of the most popular spots on our list of places. You can see the queue goes down around the block. That's a big queue. Well, wow, you might as well get into it, huh? Yeah. All right, better, better, uh, better now than never. Okay, so we get past this traffic. You can see. Oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Hello. Yeah, it's just here. So I can imagine during lunchtime the queues got to stretch. You know, like way, way down. So this isn't so bad. No. Nope. No, this is okay. I know exactly what we're gonna get. You guys feeling okay? Yeah. What do you think of Chinatown? It's nice. Yeah, it's a cool spot. A Ton little bit hot. A little hot today, a little humid. 
Uh, and we've been out here for quite a while. So it's like I was saying, yeah. 4.30. I think we started at 11.30. So we've been at five hour street food tour. Pretty epic. Forrest, how you doing? You got a little great and cedar Lego Spider-Man? Yeah. Nice. You like Chinatown? Yeah. Chinatown's good times. All right, so you can see there's the queue. So, Cal, how's Chinatown? I like it. Yeah, me too. It's busy. There's stuff happening. There's lots of food. There's it's, lots of things. I wish we could go shopping. Yeah, well, I there's. I was just I kind of reflecting on yet, that. But. There's furniture. There's decorations. There's just everything you possibly want. Yep, yep. This is a great Chinatown. Yes. I mean, yeah. wow. I love all the decorations, the lanterns, the dragons. Yeah. The food has been phenomenal today. And this is really, the food's been, yeah. what we've it's presented really today is just, just scratching the surface of what, like the depths of this place is. Past, like restaurant after restaurant, vendor after vendor, like this whole place is full of food. Yeah. And so the, to create this list that we've done, I mean, it's pretty much a straight shot down a couple of streets. Uh, but yeah, I think anywhere you turn, any shop you go into for street food, I mean, if it's got a queue like this, at four in the afternoon, you know it's a hopping spot. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna rest the battery for a little bit, but uh, once we get up there, you know for sure we're getting those show pals. Show pals. All right, our time is upon us. We're just like two, three people back. I believe if I'm reading the signs right, it's 35 pesos for one. We're gonna go with two of the show pals. Uh oh, I don't see any more trays. Hopefully, we didn't just miss it. That that'd be horrifying. Oh no, that's. I bet sad. there's another tray somewhere down below. Are there more? Oh, there's a whole oven full of them. So yeah, I, bet, I bet the queues, I bet the queues waiting for those really hot ones. All right, so you can see a bunch of other YouTubers have been here before. Pretty cool. This place is quite popular. I mean, that queue certainly shows it. Oh, there they are. You can see the guys are making them here just before they go into that steamer. Ooh, great. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're gonna be really tasty. Yeah. I think two. Yeah, two fried chicken. Yeah. There he goes, lid on. All right, so we'll just kind of hang out in the queue until they're they're ready. Yeah. So we'll get the hot fresh ones. Yeah. That's a bonus. All right, you can see these done ones so fluffy. They, I think they at least tripled in size. Yeah. So, so it's like a, off the steamer, onto the plate, and then into the bag. So there's four of them. We're getting two. Um, yum. These will be good. It's just a, a fast operation. Steam, bag, serve. Okay, there she goes. One, two, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's go this way. All right, so we've got our show pals. I mean, again, the queue's still wrapping down the street. You guys ready for this? Yes. All right, go for it. It's stuffed with pork. Is that so yummy? It's like okay. sweet. Yeah, it's and, sweet. Uh, yeah, it's like, mm, it's flavorful and like, um, there's like green vegetables in it. Okay, so it's a mix of pork and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, see, that's a big old bite. Oh yeah, I see all those toppings on the inside. And it's steamed, so the bun should be a bit chewy. Dip different than say like a hamburger bun. Yeah, it's a steamy, yummy bun. Do you want to try that? Sure. Whoa. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. It's definitely like um like juicy. Is it like a rose? Is it like a sausage? It's certainly a like a steamed savory pork dish okay quite delicious like yeah pulled pork? pretty good yeah we like that one a lot what do you think definitely that's definitely good wow it looks like there's some green onions in it yeah green onions some fresh veg green onions. you kind of see in there it's looking uh pretty Thanks. good Thanks, go for another bite mm. of course you want a bite no mm. no you okay you want a bite of the bun bah, bun Cedar got you a little bite. I guess that's a big hard pass on Forrest, but these, <laughs> mm, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So in Benona, the Chinatown is just amazing. What a what an epic neighborhood! Absolutely worth exploring. All right, guys, what do you think? All good? Yeah. Delish. Forrest yep. is trying it now. Hey, Forrest, you like? I don't like that. Oh, he's not a. He likes the bun. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Well, all that being said, we'll see you in the next episode.